By the gods, this is a good start. Where did these people set up their tent? <sighs> if there's nothing around the next bend, I'm turning around. Just around the river bend, so much more. Just around the river bend, beyond. Sorry. This is a direct sequel to Dear to uh Memoria. I mean to uh the Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. Finally. Hey you, little girl, Giacomo Nauta sent me. I'm here about the riddle. Um do you speak Goretti? I'm a friend. Giacomo told you I would come. He spoke of the hero of Andergast, a strong, <laughs> courageous and clever man. Not someone I could slice open from head to foot in the blink of an eye. I am the hero of Andergast. Can you do magic? Heal things with fairy magic? The way the hero healed the dreams of an Andergastrian was magic? It wasn't quite like that, but yes, I can repair things magically. Then prove it. This before me is the Flying Fortress Kishari. I recreated it from my dreams. But no matter what I do, it keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. Piece of cake. What the? Watch and learn. Can you use magic for that? Learn that you have a big mouth? The fortress isn't broken, oh. it's just badly made. Don't make excuses. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. What? No magic necessary here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Can I take your dagger? All right, all right. I have my own knife. All right, so knife on child. Something tells me I'd lose the fight. <laughs> well, um, it's in the chest. Glass bottle. Nothing else? Forest. I'm not going back empty-handed. All right. Um. Bottle. It's about as wide as the stick fortress. Can I break it? Put the shards around the fortress. What are you doing? Don't worry. I just want to try something. And then use the repair. Oh. May I go in now? Papa, there's someone here claiming to be a hero. Send him in. If you truly are the hero, then you're a bit boring. You remind me more of a stupid, grumpy peasant. I'm a bird catcher, and I no longer care what others think of me. I rescued a fairy, and I freed a kingdom. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. All right, all right. Go in. But watch your back. I'm right behind you. Oh, my God. Ah, Geron. How nice. Come, sit. Sit. Are you Fahi? <laughs> yes. Sit down. Did you find this place all right? Yeah, yeah. I was told that you sell a spell that can permanently change a person's form. A person's? Or an animal's? But everything in its time. Tea? No. I don't like tea. <laughs> no problem. You aren't missing much anyway. Andergast is cold, is it not? It's all right. But about that spell... Of course. You understand that permanent physical transformation is a formidable power. It demands a great deal of courage to request such power. I have my reasons. I know. Giacomo told me as much. You know my price. Giacomo said something about a riddle. Correct. You like riddles, Geron, don't you? Yes. What's brown and sticky? A stick! <laughs> of course I like riddles. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. You'll carry it with you for a while, twist it and turn it in your mind, and perhaps even despair briefly. But when you finally solve it, the reward 
will be much sweeter. Where did you get this riddle anyway? For more than three moons, my daughter and I have both had the same dream every night. It's even more wondrous that this dream tells a true story, a memory from a time 450 years ago when our world faced its greatest battle. I will now tell you the beginning of the dream. You don't need to know more. And then the riddle. If you can solve it, you'll receive the power to restore your beloved. And if not? Garon, you are the hero of Andergast. Of course you'll solve it. So, Whoa. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Creepy close-up. Creepy close-up. I'm ready. Good. The dream begins, as I said, 450 years ago, in an ancient vault far beneath my home city of Fazar. The powers of darkness threaten the land, and the great and decisive battle is imminent. When one night, a group of heroes enters the tomb of an ancient mogul mage, I Prepare yourselves. I shall open the burial chamber now. Are we all here? All here, by crying out loud. It could have been worse. Sure, we could have lost the mute Varkina too. Or the dainty princess who can't fight. <sighs> Calm yourself, Shabib. You're not the only one whose nerves are frayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did the princess have to see a little blood? Did it break her tender heart? Yes. Crack. Now you'll have to endure me without one. Princess Zadja, Alric, we must stick together. The legendary mask of Malachar lies within this burial chamber. If we succeed in bringing it to the Holy Army in the Rashtulian Wall, the battle against the demons will be mere child's play. If we succeed, and these walls don't swallow us up first. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, I can't find the lock. Give me a moment. It has to be here somewhere. Stay down. <laughs> I hope that was the last. The Guardian? What about the arm? Stay away from the Guardians, Princess. Even their detached limbs still have some life in them. The Guardians are more fragile than they look. So now I'm a girl? Rachwan? He's an agile fighter. I don't see a single wound. Why did the Furkina people cast you out? None of your business. True. Your past is your problem alone. All that counts is that you lead us safely through the mountains to the army. I just want my money, and soon. Um, pillars. 
they're watching me. Are they now? I feel a throbbing, and they're warm, like a sick heart. Um, princess, can you please hold these penises, please? I feel it quite clearly. Something in these stones lives and breathes. Damn you! Damn you! You broke my joke! Can you please put these penises in your hand, please? I feel it quite clearly. Damn. Something in these stones. Damn you! Damn you! Why would you do that to me? God. Ornamental arch. A finely worked ornamental arch with swirls and patterns. There are grooves here. Letters? Can you read them? No, they're just grooves. Nothing more. Um. There are grooves here. Letters? No, they're just grooves. Nothing, Nothing more. more. Let no, they're just uh, princess. Does cleavage have any practical use? There are no, they're just grooves, nothing more. Okay, good to know about the tomb entrance. Now to get the key into the lock, and then the door will be open. Where do you see a lock? The door is covered in filth. What does a princess know about filth? Enough to know that it can be washed off. Right. That's good news for you, isn't it? Ooh. What are you trying to say? Shh. Silence, please! I need quiet. Ruby? My Almandin. My wrathful eye. My mournful heart. I would never exchange it for anything in the world. What if I offered you a PlayStation 4 for that, Ruby? With every game ever gonna made for it. I think you'd change your mind. How's that? It looks like blood. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. Here, touch my dick. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. Okay, I'm done with the immature jokes. <laughs> Do you have a death wish? You saw what kind of creatures are running around out there. If this is what the princesses in this country are like, I would hate to see the kings. Don't worry, you won't. The last caliph of Fazar was skinned alive five moons ago. Was he a tyrant? Yes, like every ruler in this city. Besides... What? Did you see the tattoo on her arm? I believe it's the mark of Malachar. She's a direct descendant. We brought the great, 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 great granddaughter of an accursed mogul mage monster into his burial chamber. Are you out of your mind? She's a good person, trust me, and we'll soon need her. November 15th, Reg. I love the artwork in this. I'm done with the immature, the immature penis jokes. I had to get a couple in there to get that out of my way. It was that way when we arrived. Who knows if we would have won otherwise. Did you battle these things? Can you hear me? I'm sorry about your broken legs. It's very lonesome down here. But one step closer and we'll break your neck as well. Okay. Fracture. The mage brought down the mogul's earring in order to break the back of the chief guardian. But Harun was already beyond help. The mage brought down the mogul's... But... Even if we have to smash the entire burial chamber, I will triumph. What are we doing in here? The image of the mogul mage who ruled thousands of years ago and now lies buried here. He looks like a gigantic dwarf. Who will see you down here? Who will worship you? Pay homage to you. Very soon, I'll be a thousand times greater than you ever were. And unlike you, I won't end up in a dark hole. 
Unlike my p sorry. Nope. Stopping. 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 I have to get in there and find the weapon, or else it was all for nothing. The only way in or out is the door. Battle site? The hell? He's so big, but we noticed him too late. I can't believe how stupid we were. <laughs> What's this guy doing? <laughs> Just chilling out? Just relaxing? Skewered by his own torch. Well... What an unworthy death. At least he got the point. It's hanging just out of reach. Um, okay, take that and use the dagger on the bag. What? Well, that worked. Skewered. Hmm. What an unworthy death. I have a burning question for this guy. Okay, brush. Bandage. Canteen. Oh, it's... Oh, sorry. Let me try the... Yeah, that will be fine. Um, hmm. So this guy's gonna hang out over here to watch our back, and now... What happened? The sound went out. The sound went out. Saving... Main menu, exit, yes, and okay, that was weird. Relaunching, maybe sound is cut off for a second. I don't know what happened. Have anyone ever had had this uh, damn Australia? Pretty decent bit. I still don't hear anything. What the? The sound just died on the game. Did I change something on accident? Maybe? I. How did I mute all the... the... Apparently I muted everything. Somehow. Oh my god. How did I mute? I didn't even do anything. It was like magic. Apparently I'm a goddamn magician, I didn't even know of it. Okay, settings. Music. Stop it. Stop it. better now. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know. What's going on with this game? Okay, we're better. We're back. I don't know what... That was weird. Okay. 
Rock face? The burial chamber lies behind this. Punch it? If only I could pull it down somehow. If only I could pull it down somehow. Hmm. But that guardian? Another guardian. We couldn't kill him, so we had to hack off his legs. You remind me of the palace guards I once knew. But unlike them, you were against me from the beginning and didn't stab me in the back later. Thanks. I suppose. Another guardian. We couldn't kill him, so we had to hack off his legs. Uh, okay. Rock. Rock. Let the warrior mouth off as much as he likes. In the end, it was the mage who saved our necks. Okay. So random. In adventure games, you always pick up the most random stuff. Like, you always pick up a piece of gum, a rubber band, and a toothpick, and somehow you form, you make a bazooka out of that, and you save every, you kill everyone. Alcohol. And horse brush. I'd rather not. Use alcohol on the tomb entrance? Now that's just uninspired. I wasn't very inspired. Tomb entrance? Stand aside. Under no circumstances should you touch the door. Fine. Then you'll have to do it. What do you think you're doing? There She's is no cleaning. mechanism. The door is just filthy. Brush it off, and you'll find your lock. Hmm? Huh? Step back. The, is what is he, Mr. Clean? The six legs open the six locks. The hell? By all twelve gods! This is going so well. <laughs> Relax. I know you just want to help, but I can manage. We'll have to glue it. Glue what? What is happening? I don't. A roll of bandages. How about the ruby on there? I don't much care for random guesswork. That's what adventure games are all about, you nitpicker lady. What the hell's wrong with her? Stay back. We don't know what else is hidden here. Who pairs such a complicated lock with such a fragile key? I mustn't lose sight of my goal. Wait, so what's going on now? What about the sticky I'm stuff? I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. Um... How about a bandage on that? Now that's just uninspired. I Talk to the warrior, dude. What did you call me before? A dickhead? Shabib. That's Tula Media for little boy. Without me, you'd be long dead. Please, no quarrels. She started it. Who says no quarrels? But I feel like I was supposed to pick something up or something. I'm trying to push the pieces of the beetle so they interlock, but it doesn't work. They won't stay in place. Why exactly did you choose us as companions? Who are you talking about in particular? Uh, it looked like a RPG party. Can that mercenary over there do anything other than hit things and yell? <laughs> That's more than you can do, Poppet. Alric <sighs> keeps the monsters at bay. He's a good man. Will Rahvan really accompany us to the end? Yes. As soon as we're finished here, He'll lead us through the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army. He grew up in those mountains. He knows the way better than any other. You do know the Farkina's an outcast, don't you? Even his own people fear him. We have no other choice. We need him. Is it just me or can any of you... Whenever you see here the word Poppet, which is very rarely, but you think of Pirates of the Caribbean? How did a mage like you come to lead a group such as this? I wanted to join the army in Punin. When a nobleman from Fazar told me about the mask, the rest was a question of money and determination. 
What was Haroon's role? He was your personal bodyguard. He was supposed to protect you. Which he did. Right up until the end. I am sorry about him. He knew the risks. The important thing is that you're still alive. Hello, Poppet. Did you specifically look for a princess? No. I sent for a Ptolemyde scholar. But those are hard to find in these bloody days. Only a few are able to defend themselves and not fall victim to the marauding bands currently battling for dominance in Fazar. The streets of Fazar have always been a screaming nightmare. And thus, it's an even greater miracle that you survived there for so long. You're the outcast heiress of a toppled ruler. I would not have bet my ducats on you. Don't talk about your ducats. Enough of that. What do we do next? We force our way into the burial chamber of the Mughal and steal the Mask of Malachar. Then we take it over the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army before they march into battle. And there we triumph, or perish miserably. The future of this world is in our hands. How deep are we? Only the gods know. Fazar was built up layer by layer on the ruins of older dynasties. Beneath that lay vaults as ancient as the land itself. This burial chamber, for example, was erected 2,000 years ago by the last living Mughal mage, Malachar. <laughs> it is said he was a grand master of elemental and transformation magic. He could bend ore and earth to his will with the snap of his fingers. These halls were his greatest and last piece of work. Bye, Puffkin. I like the sound of Mughal Mage. A Mughal Mage. Are you sure that the mask waits behind these walls? Yes, quite sure. No one knows where the Mughal Malachar obtained the mask, or if he even created it himself. But he was so obsessed with it and its power that he ultimately took it with him to his grave. It's also said that he never succeeded in awakening its true power while he lived. What does it do? They say that the wearer of the mask can turn any lost battle, indeed any defeat and any loss at all, into an enduring victory. How? Why is it called the Holy Army? The Holy Army is an army of clerics, only with the holy might of the gods, so it is believed. Can we withstand the attacking hordes of demons? You said the army is advancing over the Rashtulian mountains. Why such a difficult route? Most of the passes are guarded by the legions of evil. In addition, <laughs> there's a magical place across the peaks of the Rashtulian wall where they hope to forge a final, crucial alliance. We'll join the army there. What a creative name. The... Was it... They said the Legion of Evil. The Legion of Evil. The Battle of the Holy Army. <laughs> How could it come to this? An invasion of evil in our age? There are always dark times, Princess. But what exactly brought them about no longer matters. The only important thing is that we're prepared to fight. The greatest heroes of our age have gathered to fight the decisive battle in the Gorian Desert. And to go down in history forever. If we win. I think that would be awesome to like, if you're an army having to fight a holy army but just armed only with the power of the gods. It's like, no swords, no weapons, no armor, just the gods protecting them. It's like, <laughs> Aren't you starting to get tired of prattling? He's right. We have to continue. Do you have no more questions? Alright, uh, I feel like I'm supposed to do something. There are grooves here. Le no, they're just. You grab that arm. Stay away from the guard. Even the detent. Hmm. She's bandages on it. Hmm. No. No. Dagger. That can't be cut. No. Alcohol. I mustn't lose. So Missing something. You better stay away from me. Gladly. Dickhead. You don't talk much, do you? Correct. Can I stab her with...